Hello, budget kings and queens. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Budgets with Elma, and on my channel, we go through my financial journey for my family of five by doing budgeting, saving challenges, sinking funds, you name it, I do it if it has anything to do with finances and budgeting. Today, I will be doing a happy mail. Okay, I got some mail and also I'll be going over what I have purchased from Etsy shops, which Etsy shops that I purchased from and how I'm going to use them in order to save with the following saving challenges that I'll be showing you today. And these saving challenges are purchased in order for me to save for the upcoming year. But I just wanted to show you what I have purchased. They are all uh, digital, okay, products. Um, that I'll be showing you and one happy mail. But before I get into that, welcome to my channel. And if you like what you see, please think about becoming part of the royal family by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you are returning kings and queens, you know the deal, royalties. Welcome, welcome back, okay? I always love and what? Appreciate you. Now, before I show you what I got, I do have a guest with me today. Say hello. Hello. Let them see your hands. Okay. Come on closer. That's my little pumpkin. And she's going to be on the video looking at um, what I have and giving her little opinion along the way. She asked me, Mom, do not open your happy mail until I am here. So I wanted to show you what I got and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay. How's it going, Nay? Good. Okay. And one word, how are you doing today? Good. The word is good. All right. Can't go wrong with that. And for me, I am doing uh, the bomb.com. Oops. I don't know if we can say that. <laughs> Because uh, I know there's certain words people can't say. So I'll take that back. I'm having a awesome day. Okay. All right. So in the comments below, don't forget to leave me in one word how you are doing today. And have you received any happy mail for this month of November? And if you have, where have you ordered from and what did you get? Okay. Let's give some shout outs and love to those Etsy shop owners or business entrepreneurs that have wonderful saving challenges to help us save along our financial journey, okay? Yes, Pumpkin, you have something to say? Uh, You're good? I forgot. Okay, so this one here, my Happy Mail, I received it from, okay, Kendra, and you should know this lovely lady. She is a budgeter. She is so awesome. She is also a cash stuffer. She is a um, entrepreneur. She is a mommy. She does have a wonderful Etsy shop. Um, she has beautiful things. She is super creative, super talented. And I happened to put in for her giveaway when she reached 500 subscribers. And I happened to win um, as one of the people who won her giveaway. So I'm sharing what she has sent me in the mail. I won't be turning the envelope around because it does have both of our addresses on there, but I'm just tapping the envelope just to make sure everything moves to the side so I don't cut anything important. And I'm going to cut just at the tip to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. And I will link her information below. I also will link everybody that I purchased from in Etsy to show you what I got and some also other budgeters that have their actual website and they're not on Etsy. I'll be showing you that as well, okay? So let me slide uh, what I have. Oh, you wanna slide it out, Pumpkin? Sure, go ahead, okay? Just be careful because I don't want some things with her name on it, so let's just go slowly. Um, she has a little note she put there. I'll read that in just a minute. And let's go ahead and pull out what she has. Ooh, it's looking good already. Nice. Ooh, oh, awesome. Oh, one okay. more. Okay, nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting excited already. Ooh, we can oh, we can one. Kendra, mm -hmm. I can't wait. All right, let's see what we got. And, okay, she did send me a little note. I'll turn it real quick. And I... Hope it's okay to read it, okay? And she says, hi, Elma, okay? And she says, just wanted to say congrats again on winning the giveaway. I can't believe it's your first win. And it was, it was my first time winning a giveaway. I am very much appreciative of all your support and want to thank you for always watching. I hope you enjoy your gift card and these challenges I made for you, Kendra. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Uh, I'm super excited that I won your giveaway. I mentioned that before. I couldn't believe it. I was yelling so loud. My husband was like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I said, I won a giveaway for the very first time from my budget family, from my budget community. So thank you so much. And I'm happy that I won. So let's see what saving challenges that she has sent me. Okay. This one is a scratch off and it's for car maintenance. So I can't wait to do this one. Oh, it's for $300. Oh, my God. So that means when I scratch these off, um, it's going to be for a good amount. And I definitely need to cash stuff some money in my cash maintenance. Um, yes, sweetheart, cash envelopes. Uh, yeah, I can, yeah, you just, want this one for you? Yeah. You could keep that one. And let's see. Can it open? No. Okay. So super cute. Thank you, Kendra. So I'm going to switch this one. And this one here, which my daughter says she wants to keep that one for herself, you can save $75. So that's cool, Pumpkin. Um, when you save the $75, what you going to do? What you going to buy with it? You're just going to keep saving it or for your next trip? Or what do you want to save it for? Keep saving it. All right. She's going to keep saving it. All right. I like the sound of that. See? Already a little budgeter. <laughs> Thinking smart. All right. I like this. And by the way, these are different villains um, in the Disney um, franchise, okay. And, and Leopardson. Yes. Can you name some other ones that you notice? Uh, I see Snow. Uh, oh, Snow White, Mom. Yes. Oh, I think. Stepmom. Stepmom, yeah. I think so. And this one was uh, Cinderella's stepmom, too. Uh-oh. Do you know who this is? Remember, um, Auntie Tanya and um, Uncle Jay had uh, did your costume like that? Do you remember who that was? Coella DeVille. From oh, the Dalmatians, okay? That was, I was, yeah. I, I was catching up. And I'll put that in a um, community post, the video, or at least I could put the picture if you prefer of how they, um, my sibling and my sister-in-law got her dressed up during, oopsie, the Halloween season. And it was just like Coella DeVille, okay? I don't know who is this one. I don't remember. I think this one is from uh, Alice. In Wonderland? I'm not sure. But if you guys know, please comment below. Um, if you can name some of these villains, okay, um, on this scratch off, okay? And I see Ursula on the side. Oh. Okay. Now, let's see what else. And this sense. one here, I am super excited to do this one. I was looking for saving challenges to do for the upcoming year. So this one for sure, I will be doing this one as one of my top. 10 okay because i am going to be trying to do 10 or less uh saving challenges to um save for my emergency fund to save for some of my sinking funds and of course to at least save 5k for the upcoming year doing my 100 um box challenge and also my 50 envelope box challenge okay so thank you so much this is super beautiful and i can't wait to do it okay and I love that um, I could just color right on it. And whenever I need to, I could just wipe it off and reuse this over and over again until I'm finished. Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it, Kendra. Thank you. Okay. So now let me show you um, what saving challenges that I have new for this month. Some will be for the 2024 uh, new year for me to save for money. And I'll be sharing with you one saving challenges that I will be doing for this month. And my goal, um, if you've seen my plan with me, okay, my monthly calendar overview, I had said that one of my goals, which I had three of them, is to finish all the mini saving challenges that I have and some of my other challenges to try to close it out so by the time December comes around, I can fully fund a majority of my saving challenges. Okay. So that is my goal. And I am only doing one new one for this month. And that new one is this one here. And it is by the budget mom. Um, she does send, um, every month, one different saving challenge each month. And based on my budget and income, I determine if it's doable to do. And this one is called treat yourself. <laughs> And basically, um, this challenge is about knowing what you want versus what you need. And we know we all go through that as human beings and just in life and just in general, based on our finances, there are things that happen that may cause us to think twice um, about how we spend our money and try to make it stretch for the month. So this challenge here is you're going to be really thinking about it. So you will save $1 every time you think about um should I get it or should you not? Okay. And so you would be saving based on your wants versus your needs. 
And every time you buy, uh, you buy want using the envelope, put 30% of the total cost into your saving challenge envelope because she does include one here. And 30% um, of your cash envelope um, that you come across use to buy something for yourself. At the end of the month, use 10% of your cash saving envelope to treat yourself. Okay, so you're going to not only be saving, but you're going to take 10% and spend it on you. Okay, so I look forward to doing that. And on the second sheet, you track um, all the times that you make a decision. Should you get it or should you not? Is it a want or is it a need? And then you put the date and then the cost, the 30% and how much you're saving and what date. And then you would cash stuff it in here. So this is one of the new saving challenges that I will be doing. Okay, and... Okay, so that was just my pumpkin. She's like, she's going to go chill on the couch while I continue to go with this video. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn around the saving challenges that I have purchased, okay, on Etsy and a couple of entrepreneurs' websites in order to save for the upcoming year. And I hope everything is in frame. The first one that I'm showing you is by Butterfly Digital Co. is her name on Instagram, okay? But on YouTube, she is Butterfly Digital Co. Budgets, okay? And she has so many beautiful saving challenges. And I purchased this bundle from her Etsy shop. And there are so many beautiful savings. I'm telling you guys, I couldn't make up my mind. They were so beautiful. So I just printed it so I can show you what it looks like. And for this saving challenge that she has, her bundle does come in a denomination of $1, $5, $10, $25, $50, $10, and $100 in order for you to save. But me, based on my budget, um, I kind of know what numbers that I want to actually save. So I just pulled out and I'll just show you. Okay, this one here, which is for $1. Okay, oh, let me just turn this around. You'll save $31 doing it, okay? And what I'll be doing, I'll be spreading these around each month. So let's say for January, I finished the whole template, then I will just begin on the next one. If I don't finish it, I will still continue to do it into the next month until I complete the whole template. And all her saving challenges do come in an eight, Six size and a full sheet size okay of course you can adjust it based on your printer if you want to make it smaller or larger okay and I got this one which is a two dollar denomination once I complete it I will save sixty two dollars completing this saving challenge template the next one is the three dollar and I will be saving ninety three dollars completing this one the next one is four dollars a day and I will be saving $124 once I complete this one, okay? All of them are super cute. And this one is number five, $5 every time. And once I complete it, I will be able to save $155. And last but not least, $10, okay, a day. And I will be able to save $310 once I complete this. So once I do all of those that I mentioned, one through 10, saving them, I will be saving a total of $775 once I complete this bundle from budget, excuse me, Butterfly Digital Co. Budgets, okay? So I can't wait to get that started. The next one that I'm showing you here, and I hope everything is in frame, okay? I also purchased this on Etsy, and the owner of this shop is called Valerius budgets okay and so this is how hers look and it is of course a monthly saving challenge bundle okay and each month i will be saving a specific amount so for january february and march the first one for january i'll be saving 152 and then for february 140 for March 170 and i like all the colors and i've purposely colored them um print them in color, I should say. So that way you can really get the effect of how beautiful the um, different icons on the template. 
And then for April, I'll be saving 90. In May, I'll be saving 140. And then June, I'll be saving 180. When I tell you super cute, it is too cute. The next one, July, I'll be saving 40. In August, I'll be saving 70. In September, I'll be saving $90. And look at all this beautiful colors that matches the actual month. I love it. And then October is 150. November is 120. December is 250 when saving in her challenge. Okay. So for that one, I will be saving a total of $1,592. Okay. I can't wait. The next one here that I'm showing you is by Batty in the Bag. Okay. And this challenge that she has created, this bundle is called Batty Budgets, okay? And it is super cute. Um, you can print it again in eight, six size and you can do full sheet, okay? But again, I just wanted to show you the full sheet so you can see it in full view and look at the beautiful, okay? Creativity, okay, that Moya did on this one. And I know you know this queen, right? I love her content and I love her YouTube channel. Okay. And look at that. I love it. I love the colors. Okay. And so this is the, one of the templates that come in there, the dashboard. Okay. And for her challenge in January, okay, I will be saving a total of $200. Okay. And it is super cute in its denominations of 10 and five. Okay. This bundle is a little bit higher. So that's why I will be saving it at the end of the month to complete it. So once I complete these, okay, that I have here, I will cash stuff these in my 100 envelope challenge. Okay. The ones that I showed you prior. And then this one I will save at the end because this one is a very expensive one. But <laughs> when I tell you expensive, like it's pricey to save. So that's why I'm saving it more towards the end. So every time I finish a mini saving challenge, I will then um, take those funds once it's fully funded and then put them into here to cash stuff for this challenge here, for this bundle to close out the end of the year for 2024. Okay. That is my goal. Okay. So that's how much I'll be saving 200 for January in this challenge. Okay. February, you can save 250. Okay. And these are in denominations of $5 and I'm putting it here so you can see everything. Okay. The next one is March. Okay. And for this one here, you'll be saving in the denomination of $10 and I will be saving a total of 310 once I complete this one here. For April, it is in a denomination of 20. <coughs> Excuse me. And once I complete this one, I will be able to save 480. And right here is another beautiful dash. Okay, dashboard that she created that you can put in your cash envelope when you're doing the different, okay, templates. The next one is for May. And for May, I will be saving a total of 210, okay? And the denominations are in 20 and also in $10 bills. And I'm not gonna stress about it. Like I mentioned, once I complete any mini saving challenges, okay, I will then put them into here to cash stuff these to finish them out, okay? So actually get to my end of the year goal, <coughs> excuse me guys, of saving 5K or more, okay? And so for this one here for June, it is a denomination of $5 bills and I will be saving 150, okay? I'll just show you that at the end and show you a little bit at the top. For July, I will be saving a denomination of 15, Okay, and that will be a total of $300. And any extra income that I get, guys, that are unexpected, unexpected blessings, uh, whatever God may send my way, any extra side hustle um, that I come up with because one of my goals for the upcoming year is to open up an Etsy shop and to create a saving challenge uh, bundle myself and saving challenges and a budget uh, planner. And I have a couple of other things that I'm praying to God about to manifest and to make come true into reality in 2024. So if all those things 
come to happen, and I know it will. I just don't know which month in the year 2024, but God knows when he will make each of those things happen for me for the upcoming year, okay? Because I've been praying about it. I've been thinking about it. And of course, I wrote it down and I'm gonna make it happen. So when I get those extra incomes, I will then try to catch stuff to do the saving challenges that I'm showing you here today, okay? So there you go, 300. And here's the dashboard, another one, okay? Super cute, right? And that really looks like her, by the way. <laughs> Yes, it looks just like Moya. Okay, and then August, you save 200. Okay, and September, there you go, you save 250. October, as you can see, you save 300. Yeah, that's why I'm saving this bundle for the end because, um, yeah, it's an arm and a leg with savings, right? <laughs> but I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to put it out there and set my goals and see how I do. Okay, November, and that's 200. Okay. So let's see. Okay. And last but not least, December, I will save 300. And the final dashboard, Boss Babes. All right. So, Budget Kings and Queens, I hope you enjoyed me sharing with you my Happy Meal, what new digital products that I purchased from some Etsy shop and entrepreneurs that have their own websites and sharing with you, giving you a, a sneak peek of what I will be using in order to save for 2024. Let me know in the comments below, what saving challenges have you recently purchased to get ready for the upcoming 2024 year or what are some that you are actually working on yourself if you do create some, okay? And put your business um, link and Etsy shop below. I would love to purchase and support your business if you do. With that being said, my name is Budgets with Elma, and I will see you on my next video. And have a great November.